For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be, be, shall be seen upon, upon you. Thee. Said the glory of God is upon me. The glory of God is shining. On me. Amen. Those are the secrets. If you want That's right. that beauty from above. Not the beauty of makeup. Not the beauty of makeup. You know, I used to, I got married to a pastor. He wasn't used to makeup and all these fancy things. So it was troubling him. And I saw that it wasn't normal. Why are you troubled? I'm used to makeup. Amen. So he knew me with makeup. So now, when I don't use makeup, he's the one who reminds me, you didn't put anything? <laughs> so we are not talking about this makeup that we will use. God is going to beautify you, your spirit, soul, and body when you are busy working with him, when you are busy obeying. And doing his work. Amen. The beauty that is eternal. The beauty that is going to last. You know, when we go home, we wash our faces. All the makeup is gone. And you're looking for yourself. Who am I? Who am I? You don't want to come out if you don't have makeup. Amen. The beauty that God gives. After pain is gain. Say pain. pain. You're good. You're but gain. Pain. Is better. better. Amen. So you are going to gain. After your pain. When do we go. To the saloon. To do our hair. Everybody has their own secret hair. I don't know what you're using right now. I know what I'm using. Amen. But it hurts. <laughs> Amen. But you have to endure. For you to be beautiful. The first day when I go to do my hair. Braids or something underneath there to cover. I don't sleep well the same day. <laughs> but I don't go back and say, oh, remove it, it's hurting. We enjoy the pain. It hurt. But we don't stop. Yesterday our prophet was giving us that revelation. When you are pregnant, especially the last month, oh my goodness. My husband has to help me to move my leg. It's hard to move my leg. And it's not that heavy. It's painful. But after the baby, all the pain is gone. You are smiling, enjoying your family. So why don't we do the same way in serving God? Why don't we? You know, my husband, not too long ago, when he, I think he was here. And I know that he, he likes smoke, uh, smoke um, meat. So I made, I took time. I said, when he comes back, he's going to find good meal. So it was in winter, the beginning of winter. So I said, I'm going to sacrifice myself and smoke the smoke talk, uh, the turkey that I had. But it was in winter. It was cold. Outside. 
outside in cold. And that smoke was wood smoke. But you know, I cried. I said, Lord, forgive me. Look at what I'm doing to please my husband. I cannot do this going witness to people in this cold. I said, God, I'm sorry. You know, I repented. I sacrificed more for my husband. But if you ask me, go. Evangelize. Witness to people. Look for souls. Go and tell people that God loves you. Jesus loves you. Accept him. Accept him. In that cold. I said, God, I am sorry. The same way I'm doing for my husband, I can do it for you. It was, a it was a lady in our church. And she was so, uh, she was a troublemaker. A character. And just God brought her to my life, into my life, to challenge me. 